Hello guys, let's talk today um, about writing a job description um, in human resources. Um, how to, you know, when you're hiring a candidate, how to put a job description together, um, you know, because it's a, you know, crafting a compelling job description is, is very important. Well, you know, helping you attract the most qualified candidate for your job, you know, with with more than like 25 million jobs listed, um, you know, all over a great job description can help your jobs stand out from the rest of other employers who are also looking for the uh, good candidate for the position. So your job descriptions are where you start marketing your company uh, and your job to your future hire. So the key to writing an effective job description is to find the perfect balance between uh, providing enough detail so candidates understand the role and your company while keeping your job description concise. So what is a job description? A job description, it summarizes the essential responsibilities, activities, qualifications, and skills for a role. It's also known as a, a JD, they call job description. That's a abbreviation of job description. Description. So this document describes the type of work performed, right? So job description, it should include important company details, company mission, company culture, and any benefits it provides to employees. It may be specified to uh, whom the position report and salary range. Um, because an effective job description, as I said before, it will provide enough detail for candidate to determine if they are qualified for the position. Not only that, uh, but according to an, you know, survey for the job description that 52% of job seekers say the quality of a job description is very, very important and it's a extremely influential on their decision, you know, to apply for the job. Because in that, of course, you have to keep in mind that job title is also very important. Make sure that your job title is specific. You target job title are, you know, are more effective than generic ones. So uh, be precise by including key phrases that accurately describe the role. In fact, a 2020 uh, survey found that 36% of job seekers um, that use job sites to search for a job using the title of the job that they are looking for, okay? Um, and um, it's also avoid internal lingo that may confuse the job seek, uh, seeker, right? So st stick to your uh, standard experience level like senior, rather than number four, number five, number three, you know, or other terms, you know, people are less likely to, to look for, okay? And also, another point I want to make is, that is that job summary. Job summary is also very important because open with a strong attention grabbing summary, your summary should provide an overview of your company and, and expectations for the positions. So hook your reader with detail about what makes your company unique. Your job description is an introduction to your company and your employer brand, including details about your company, culture to sum up, you know, why 
candidate would love to work for your company, why they want to work for you. Okay, because according to survey they did in uh, 20, uh, 21 is that 72% of job seekers say it's extremely or very important to see details about the company, about the culture, and job description. So these things, you know, you have to include an exact uh, job description, job location, you know, uh, to optimize your job posting. So it appears higher in job search result where uh, what location the candidate is looking for a job. So it will come up higher in, in a job search. So these are the things you have to consider. And also I want to make a point about responsibilities and duties, okay? Outline the core responsibilities of the position. Make sure your list of responsibilities is, is detailed but concise. When you make a list, make sure your list is detailed but concise, okay? Also emphasize the duties that may be that may be unique to your organizations. Like for example, if you're hiring an event manager role and the position requires social media expertise or to promote event, include the detail to ensure candidates under the requirement and can determine if they are qualified. Okay. Another point is highlight the day-to-day -day activities of the position because this will help your candidates to understand the work environment and the activities they'll be exposed to on a daily basis. The level of detail, it will help the candidate determine if the role and the company are right fit, okay? Helping, that will, it will be helping you attract the best candidate for your position, okay? Because when you highlight the day-to-day -day activities in of the position, okay? Also specify how the position will fit into the organization uh, indicate who the job report to or how the person will function within in your organization, helping candidates to see the big picture and understand how the role impact the business. Okay. So make sure that you specify how the position fits into the organization. Again, indicate who's the job report to or how the person will function with the organization, helping the, it will help the candidates to see the big picture and they will understand how the role uh, impact the business. Another point I want to make is um, qualification and skills. Include a list of hard and soft skills. Okay, because of course the job description should specify education, previous job experience, certification, and technical skills that require for a role. You may also include soft skills like communication, problem solving, as well as personality trait that you envision for a successful hire. So keep your list concise. While you may be like tempted to list out every requirement, you know, you envision for the ideal hire, include too many qualification, uh, when you're including too many qualification and skills, it could, you know, this a potential candidate. Because uh, according to a survey that was done in, 
around, I think uh, it was in 2018, like 63% of candidates said that they choose not to apply for a job because they felt like they didn't know enough the specific tools or skill listed in the job description. Uh, and uh, furthermore, like 47% said that they didn't apply because they didn't have the specific years of experience listed in the job description. So that's why it's important to identify the must-have versus nice-to-have skills and qualifications for the role to encourage a more diverse set of candidates to apply. apply okay? um, uh, another point I want to make, like 71% of the employer, you know, said that they are already doing all this, you know. Um, that they split the requirement of the role into two lists of must have versus uh, nice to have, you know. Uh, so they are splitting that already. They are doing that already. Uh, another point is salary and benefits, you know, include the salary range. Quality candidate look for opportunities that meet their salary needs. However, you know, uh, according to 2019 survey, uh, when job seekers say that 70% of candidates said that they never or only occasionally saw job description that includes salary information. So stand out from other employers, you know, by adding the salary band to your job description to help attract best fit candidate, okay? Because almost one in four job seekers say that compensation is the most important part of the job description, okay? Um, and make sure you list out your top perk and benefits, uh, what was in, you know, why candidate will choose you, okay, what is in it for the candidate, because most job seekers, like about 83 over 80% 80 of job seekers agree that companies' benefits and perks have a significant impact on their decision of whether or not to accept a job offer. Okay, so it encourages more people to apply by sharing, you know, attractive rewards, attractive benefits that you offer uh, for your employees, such as, you know, uh, you can say uh, unlimited PTO, flexible hours, medical, dental, vision coverage, office snacks, office parties, tuition reimbursement, dog-friendly office, you know. So that's why, guys, these things, job descriptions, so that's why, guys, it's very important to have a best practice for when you're writing a great job description, you know, like we cover that you conduct a job analysis, you also, you know, know what to include in a job description, uh, create a job, you know, great job title that stands out from other employers uh, own the requirement and responsibilities. Um, and if it need to, you can edit your job description and, uh, you know, refix it if you need to, you know. So that's why these are the best practices for writing a, a job description when you, you know, writing a, conducting a, job description, conducting a job analysis. Um, you, you will always perform a job analysis before you write your job description. That's very important, okay? If you hired for this job before or have ever done, you know, job yourself, you should still conduct the job analysis. You know, you will at least uh, 
want to research how competitors are advertising, how compensation uh, setting, you need to compensate for this position, uh, new requirement for the position and other positions, uh, specified detail, crucial, accurately describing your open job in your job description, how you conduct job analysis, how you write a job description. Like if you're unsure how to do a job analysis for that position, one of the best way to get your bearing is by, you know, uh, talking to people who knows or who will be working with the new hire for the position, uh, your colleagues, your direct reports, uh, talk to them about that, you know. Other than getting job analysis info, these are the people who you want uh, to fit well with the new hire because uh, getting to know them will increase your chance of making, you know, higher uh, slam dunk. If this is going to be an entirely new position for your company, this will be, a, be even more important for that, okay? As you write your job analysis, make sure to ask yourself, you know, those questions that we covered before, like, uh, what internal, what external pressure on your company or team has caused for this job opening? Um, that's when you're writing your analysis report. How uh, have the demand of the job changed over the past five years at your company? How has the role of this job changed without your industry in the past, you know, past uh, five years or two years or three years, right? Um, what differences do you notice when viewing and, you know, job description uh, posted for the job by your competitors for the same job in your area? What falls outside the typical requirement for this position? Okay, how will this job support other roles in your company. What technical skills and soft skills will a new hire use to meet the demand for the job? How does the company you offer for this job compare to your competitors? These are very, these are the main point and very important points when you're writing a great job description. You need to know what to include in that job description. Though like every section of, of your job ad is irrelevant, right? But there are few job description sections that are key to catching the eye of a candidate and showing them if your job is a good fit for this career, right? Because, okay, let me cover this too. Every section of a job description, it needs to accomplish a specific goal and understanding of, of how to develop a job description into a fantastic job opportunity. It means understanding the ins and outs of what each section is supposed to accomplish, right? Like, for example, job title. Job title is so important, right? Because that's how the candidate, that's the first thing candidate is look for. Um, understanding how to write job profile summary section effectively has a lot to do with understanding what candidates will find most appealing about the big picture of your job. When thinking about how to explain job profile highlights to readers, Consider what your ideal candidate will find most interesting about the job's real world impact or its unique place in your company. Again, responsibilities and requirements. These sections need to give candidates a specific responsibility of the role 
for the position and criteria that they will be evaluating against. Always make you know these lists as concise and reader friendly as possible. Like about a section, right? This section need to give the reader a positive sense of your company, of your brand, of uh, employer brand. That's about us, right? That they want to work for this company. Why they want to work for this company? Why they work choose you as employer than someone else, right? So create a job, great job title. Job titles are the first introduction candidates have to your job so they need to be un engaging they need to be when thinking about how to write an attractive job title the first thing to con you know you should consider what your ideal ideal candidate find attractive the second thing you need to consider when deciding how to write a job title is including the keywords you need for your job ad to screen in the search result okay another point I want to make guys is what your ideal candidate finds attractive okay because the candidates are attracted to their specialization so be sure to be specific with the job title along with the job title include detail about the job this would turn your marketing manager job title into something like marketing manager online community engagement, right? So job description, search volume, because when your job title need to contain the most commonly used and accepted job title for the position if your company's specific need will make it somewhat different from other role with the same title right again hone the requirement and responsibilities the requirement and responsibilities section may seem like a you know boilerplate in many job descriptions but if that's the case, it's a actually a great job description. The importance of job description, accuracy in the role and responsibility uh, section cannot be overstand as mistake, you know, I will cause applicants to stop reading your ad. There's a lot of info to cover, but still, possible to engaging and reader friendly uh, in, you know in these sections of your job description again responsibilities let's cover that too because in 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 the responsibility section focus on high level list of responsibilities that don't get too technical right um, like research uh, for example let's let's talk about you know responsibility of marketing manager for example okay because research segment and understood you know that our audience and how to engage them effectively you can write you can also write like help define our brand you also work on what our brand stands for and how we bring it to, to life across a variety of assets and channels, manage uh, paid media campaign across all channels, lead end-to-end -end marketing campaigns, you know, you lead messaging, messaging uh, development and creative development, production and distribution, correct? You'll be also responsible across functions and agencies for pulling everything together into compelling story for our prospect and for our customers, correct? So lead our customer marketing. You'll take our customer stories and turn them into compelling, you know, studies or sale collateral, etc. correct? 
another section that is very important guys is the requirement and qualification because in this section you'll be laying out the specific requirement for candidates from the years of experience required to uh, to the required level of competency for specific tools that they will use here you know like requirement section uh, same as like we was covering about the marketing manager position uh, above that I just covered uh, like you can put the requirement or qualification that you need a three plus years of experience as a marketing manager or comparable uh, position right you also have to have a excellent verbal and uh, written communication skills uh, you also have to be uh, self-direct, able to create a plan, prioritize the uh, in initiatives, and execute, uh, execute uh, independently and in collaboration with others to agree on deadlines. Right. So, an experiment and creative mindset. You relish the opportunity to try new things. You mastered a few marketing automation and CRM tools already bonus point for sales course and you know anything for a marketer right you also have to uh, have a track record of consistently achieving or exceeding marketing goals you have to have a high energy outgoing can do personality ability to prioritize and Trades uh, real-time demands on of ongoing marketing projects, time campaigns, and company initiatives. Right. Again, if you see and you need to, like we was covering earlier, that if you need to edit your your job description, um, that is also one of the most important job description best practice you can do to-do list. If you are interested in writing a good job description, you will edit it thoroughly and you won't shy away from making changes that should be made, right? Um, like evaluating each section is important of your job description and you should evaluate the each section individually as well as evaluating how each section fits with the other section of your job description. Have several people read your job description who have some of the skills you are asking for. These people will be able to tell you if your job description passes the credibility test, which is essential for attracting top candidates. Okay, And also try reading your job description. Um, Yourself is the best way to test how well your job description flow um, from one piece to uh, of info to another piece. Okay, so this exercise will also make awkward sentences very apparent as you read them, and don't be afraid to make changes, guys. Okay, because the editing stage is your last chance to change out things that aren't working for your job description. So use this opportunity to reshape parts of your job description that are awkward or just uninteresting, vague, right? Because editing can be a pain, it's a pain painstaking uh, process, but be patient, okay, and persistent as you edit, as you will get better results and avoid pulling oh, your hair out, right? So if you have a trouble line uh, editing for typos, you can try downloading, you know, apps that can do the editing or Grammarly check for you. Um, again, you know, to it's very important like let me recover that that job title the title of the job the regional you know like for uh, the position is for what area the location the region right job summary 
big job summary will cover a big picture summary of the job, it purpose and its impact, uh, responsibility, list of major responsibility that a hire will be taking, uh, requirement, qualification, list of specific skills, experience requirement that will qualify candidate for the job, um, your company summary, why work for us, a small section where you give a reader some great employer brand info about the company. Okay, so customize the job description is very important. The occupation, um, you know, candidates first impression of your company often comes from how the role is presented in the job description. Okay, that's initial reaction matter and will show up in the company review. So get involved, you know, uh, in the conversation, start managing uh, and promoting your uh, employer brand reputation uh, is, is crucially, crucially important, guys. All right, hope this helped about, you know, we covered a lot uh, how to write a job description and how you can stand out uh, when a candidate is searching for a job, why they will choose your company and uh, how you, you know, presenting that job description by conducting a job analysis, how you uh, writing a job description, what you including in a job description, uh, what will be the great title, creating a job title, you know, hone on on the requirements and responsibilities, you know, how you can, you know, change or edit the job description if it need to be, right? So these are uh, the great points that you can bring it, you know, ca catching the eye of the candidate, your job title, job profile, responsibility requirements about us, you know, uh, why, the candidate find your job description more attractive, right? And how job description comes in the search value uh, volume, um, how you can hone the requirement and responsibilities. That's why tailoring the job description is critical. Because three in four hiring decision makers, you know, say that it's easier to attract top talent when they know or, you know, about the organization, uh, specifically when it comes to your company's name, uh, your company's products, your company's services. However, if you're not in the top tier of well-known companies, your job description will have to work a little harder to attract the informed candidates, right? Once candidates click on your job listing, they look for informed, uh, you know, decision or information that they will help that will help them decide if the opportunity, you know, merit further investigation for them uh, in their job search. So remember, not all all candidates will fit the same mold. Some care most about the location of the company. Some care most about the mission of your company, right? Some care about uh, their personal career development. So take time to put yourself in the candidate shoes for each role and then start from there. All right, guys, I think we cover a, a lot in job description field. So I will talk to you guys soon. Till then, you guys take care. Again, this is Ruby saying with jobs and careers advice. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Bye.